Behind me is the Clifton Suspension Bridge and we're about to walk backwards and forwards on it, have a little explore of the views and look at the information centre if it's open. Let's go have an explore. <laughs> If we're going to come to the suspension bridge then we have to actually look at the suspension bridge so there's two main viewpoints that i'm going to show you three of them that doesn't make any sense to it does it but there's like the main viewpoint that everyone goes to see there's observatory hill which i think is the best but i also think it'd be quite cool to see it from underneath as well so we're going to do all three viewpoints so here is viewpoint number one this is kind of the main viewpoint it has the information plaque in front of it it's where you always see the grommets when they do the grommet and these trail introductions it always happens from here so to see underneath the bridge the quickest way is via the path called the zigzag And there's your ground level view of the suspension bridge. The path is on a little bit longer, but it's not really much point. And like I always say, what goes down must go back up again. Oh boy. I'll see you at the top. And now we're heading to probably one of my favorite views of the bridge. which is up Observatory Hill. And you kind of see it kind of comes into view. So down, down here, I'll show you now. It's like, um... And you often see people, people sliding down this um, slope. <laughs> I'm not sure how comfortable that would be personally. <laughs> I love this view so much. I think it's all in the camera. <laughs> Can't actually tell. You can follow the path around and see, in theory, increasingly better views. Here's the top of that slide. <laughs> And that was a brief look at the Clifton Suspension Bridge. If you'd like to see more stuff by Bruno, check out my video from SS Great Britain just here, and I'll see you there.